All right, uh, I'm gonna try to make this video again for the third fucking time. <laughs> I already spent like an hour making this video and deleting it, and so my phone cut me off early for some reason. So I just went and deleted hella apps just to hope that my phone will have more ability to, more room to record a little bit more. Anyway, so I found, I've been looking at uh, maps from, I think they're owned by Leonardo da Vinci. And they, um, yeah, it's like these maps. I might go and see them in person because it's at Stanford nearby, you know, like, or relatively near like an hour away so um but so it's all these like ancient maps and uh you know it's pretty interesting like these um Oh, let's see, do you? Um, so like this one here. Well, it's interesting. This one has like Africa sloping south. Uh, looks like it's having it sloping southwest like it does, like it seems to do in the <clears throat> Hierakompolis map. <clears throat> and uh, so that's the 5,500 year old map where <clears throat> where you can see like uh you know this is like west africa here and then it goes in and then southern africa like seems like it's slanting towards the um you know southwest chances are that's just meant as a stylized representation and it's just meant to convey the fact that everything points towards antarctica you know, um, cause like it also has, uh, I guess this is either, um, Lejo or Indochina or something also pointing towards Antarctica and all kind of drawn in together to that. So I think that's just what it's showing, but it may be that later people misinterpreted that. <clears throat> and actually thought that Southern Africa actually does that, or they just pretended that for some reason. Um, but this map also seems to show America on this side. Uh, it probably labels it on this side. They usually label where it, <clears throat> they call it the Islands of the Blessed, Insule Fortunate. But over here... <clears throat> They, um, it seems to have like some features of the western coast of America, so I'm not sure exactly what part that is, but um, there's that, and even this, this is supposed to be like Indochina, but arguably, but it seems that it's actually, um, Kamchatka because it's shaped like Kamchatka it's not shaped like Indochina like uh, so this is Indochina this is the Indochina peninsula right here it's a long skinny peninsula pointing east whereas Kamchatka is a big fat peninsula pointing west and this thing here is a big fat peninsula pointing west so i'm pretty sure it's they found maps of kamchatka and maps maybe also maps of uh indochina the malay peninsula and they just 
merged them together because <laughs> they thought, either thought it was the same thing or they're trying to pull one over on us or I don't know what. So that's uh, something I basically already knew about, but wow, fascinating. I guess it doesn't let me just uh, go to the next one or anything. God forbid. So after I get out of here it's like what I don't know it should let me go between them like oh now it does cool so you know this one this shows like uh Florida and um you know Cuba Hispaniola but I think that this version of Florida might be based on something well I think it's based on a bunch of things like for one thing this map shows like Pari that North America used to be called Parias um, and South America was called America but Okay, so go to this one. So basically, it seems that they use the same um, well, let's see. For one thing, they have they have uh, Greenland still attached to um, to Europe, just as it is in this 5,000 Five hundred year old map. You see, this is Greenland, and it's still attached somehow to Europe there. So this might be during the Ice Age, and uh, so of course here as well they have Greenland here sticking out from part of Europe. Um, and here's South America, North America. Um, but the but. It's interesting, like, so this one also has, uh, let's see, this is India right here, right? It's like Persia and India. So one might ask, what the fuck is all this? <laughs> and then I would have to tell you, this is America. So this map, I'm not sure exactly you know, it's from the early 1500s, but it's clearly based on ancient maps. It, um, yeah, this whole thing is America. They just attached it on. But what's especially interesting about it is that they flipped it around. So they did the same thing that the ancient Egyptian maps did. So it might be, this might be copied from an ancient Egyptian map. Because ancient Egyptian maps, they flipped the underworld inside out. So for them, America is the underworld, just as for Americans, uh, Afro-Eurasia is the underworld. And uh, so there's a bunch of different versions like this. This is another one. So it's showing America, but America inside out so instead of like this is basically mexico which goes the opposite direction it goes east so it's interesting because that's the same thing as in the ancient map like here um not only does this map show um it shows america inside out so america the whole thing is kind of backwards, upside down, inside out, you're viewing it from underneath, as opposed to the earlier versions, like uh, most of the books of two ways are they op are not like this, where America is just shown like a bird's eye view. But in this version, they go back to the, you know, Hierocompolitan tradition of turning America inside out as the antipode and treating it as if you're looking straight through the planet at it. 
but it seems that part of that tradition is also turning the last gatekeeper before America inside out. So on the Asian side, that's uh, Kamchatka Peninsula. So they have, instead of it pointing its tip towards Japan, which is what it actually does, and these islands, the Russian Kuril Islands, actually are the same islands that make up Japan's tail. So it should be right here, and the birds should be turned around. But because of this underworld tradition, they're flipped. And similarly, on the opposite side, on the western side, the last gatekeeper is Britain. And Britain is flipped around because, um, you know, there's a lot of reasons that I went over in earlier videos of why this works as Britain, but only if it's flipped. Like, um, you know, this is Ireland, uh, but, you know, because these are all the islands, like the Shetlands, the Orkneys, and the Hebrides. And then he's holding a a bigger islands because all the islands are like depicted as these long uh, magic wands or something but he can but for ireland to be on this side of him he basically has to be inside out like flipped around because the way everything else is like his tail anyway there's a lot of reasons like there's no if this was because if this was an actual bird's eye view and Ireland is on this side, it would mean England's on this side and um, and Scotland's up here. And these do not at all fit for England and Scotland. For one thing, Scotland's England's much wider than Scotland, and there's nothing at all approaching this shape on this side of England, whereas. It does fit if you flip it around. So yeah, just like Kamchatka and just like the whole entire American side of the map, these last two gatekeepers are flipped. And I think that Kamchatka and Britain were seen as partly underworld. You know, like they're basically limbo at the least and maybe in some respects considered to be part of the underworld. Um... At the very least, they're like the gateways to the underworld. And that's how the Celts viewed it as well. You know, the Celts said that to get to the underworld, you sail to Britain and you um, find a British uh, sailor to like ferry you across. So anyway, it's interesting that this same tradition of flipping things backwards, flipping the underworld backwards, um, is found in these later maps and uh, so you know because this is um, so this is that one where it shows this whole part of Asia uh, supposedly Asia and this is the reason you know people think Columbus was an idiot for saying America was India but no he was just going based on the maps the maps actually label America as part of India and the maps existed probably before he was born so silly to blame him for it I mean it's like arbitrary what you call anything like India never named itself India India is what outsiders call India I mean, I think eventually they started calling it that themselves, but it's from like a, you know, an outsider's uh, name for it. So yeah, this is, this is it, right? It's supposedly part of Asia here, but if you flip it around, it's actually, you know, Mexico and Florida and, you know, America so um, you know. so 
So, you know, you can see a lot of the features in there. Um, you know, this up here is Alaska. Um, and then this island here is actually Baja, California, which was thought by some to be an island like even into like the 1800s some thing some uh you know depictions of it showed it as an island so it was called california so it's funny like i live in california but but i also don't because i think really california was supposed to be just baja california just this peninsula which they thought was an island and they didn't know how big it was so somehow we got included into it as we're our real name is Alta California. You know, they're Baja, we're Alta. But um, really, we probably shouldn't be called California at all because California was the name basically for Baja California, which was seen as this island. So I don't, I'm not sure what these guys are, if that's those are parts of Baja or just some misplaced something. But, um, but, you know, it has a lot of the details, you know, it even has, uh, there's kind of these two like notches on the Northern side of the Gulf of Mexico. So there's like this one here, which is maybe like New Orleans or something. And then this one over here, which is like near like Tallahassee or something. And so that's, yeah, so that's these two. And it has some, I think it has some mount, these might represent mountains here. And I think there are actually some mountains around, or some hills or something around Tallahassee. Um, and So you can see like the mount, I guess these are the mountains. So it's not exact, like this one is probably, this one may be supposed to be the Rockies or something, but it just, uh, or maybe it's something in Mexico. But like this one seems pretty accurate for this mountain range right here. Um, and this certainly is accurate for being, uh, you know, especially this one looks like Appalachia right here, the mountain range of Appalachia. So, um, so anyway, it's a pretty accurate map. It's, it seems to be ancient. It's probably, um, oh, this was interesting that I was noticing that maybe one reason why the Egyptians identified with America so much is that the shape of the Nile is similar to the shape of America. Like this part of the Nile around the cataracts, it goes, it does a zigzag where it goes south and then north and then south. And so, yeah, that could be a sense of why they were so into the as above, so below and everything. They believe the Nile waters came out from the underworld. So yeah, this is the around Tallahassee. So this might be why they had that line on the map there for these hills. Um, and so, and then this is comparing that to this other version where it's showing Florida and Cuba and Gulf of Mexico, and it's calling it America, North America Parias. Um, so it's somewhat similar, at least in the shape of Florida, that it's treated kind of a, it's like kind of triangular and uh, pointy like that, more so than it really is. And it kind of like curves around at the end more so than it really does. Uh, but otherwise, these are pretty dissimilar. And if anything, this one, even though it's shown backwards on the map and attached to Asia, is a actually much more accurate map of North America than uh, this little guy is. Um, 
And then this is comparing on another map something that seems to be the same thing. You know, this is especially close to this, that they seem to have been based on the same thing. But in this case, it looks less, even less like Florida than, um, than this backwards one does. And so anyway, I flipped it around because I realized how much it looks like um, Alaska. So, you know, um, it's pretty much as Alaska, you know, like has even like this little island is this probably this island here. This island up here is probably this island here. Um, well, it's funny how when I move the mouse, it becomes a uh, hand. I'm not sure why. <laughs> All right, so but so this it's funny. Like it basically seems like the same peninsula was used to be like several different peninsulas like they mixed it up so much that in some cases the same map was used for florida and for um you know something in asia and that other one and then for um alaska and i think that it's also was used for Lejeune peninsula in china so this is the one that's, even though it looks a lot like the other ones, it also seems closest to, uh, you know, it fits by far the best with this. And it seems to even have a lot of these kind of details, like, you know, the coast goes up and down. And uh, so this would be like this bay here and... Uh, you know, it has like, like this line here might represent this kind of bay here, or it could represent some mountains here. Um, and then, you know, this probably would be Kodiak Island. I don't know what the heck this would be. This would maybe be like, uh, Haida Gwaii or whatever this one is. I think that's Haida Gwaii. And then, or this could even be, you know, it could be that this is Haida Gwaii and this is uh, Vancouver Island. Who knows? Um, and then this down here, I kind of suspect that this is the San Francisco Bay, you know, that this is the San Francisco Peninsula, this is the Marin headlands and whatever, and then this is like, these are the contours of the bay. I mean, it fits best with the San Francisco Bay. You know, there's a chance that somehow it's supposed to be the Salish Sea here, but if so, you would think they would depict um, Vancouver Island. So I'm leaning towards that being the San Francisco Bay. But it's hard to know because these maps are like so mixed up with different regions that, uh, but it certainly fits a lot of the um, details of the San Francisco Bay. Um, but yeah, it seems like it also is laid Joe because look at this, like, um, this depiction, even though it's supposed to be North America, it shows, you know, the coast, like this is supposedly the Gulf of Mexico, but it's tiny and it's shaped basically like this kind of bay right here. And then somehow the coast goes like straight east. So it really only fits for this. It only fits for China. Um, so it's like this, this is Lejo Peninsula, and then this is Hainan Island. So the, I mean, it seems like they altered it, but I just suspect that 
this is at least one of the one of the bases of this map is a map of this that was maybe merged with some actual map of Florida that didn't have very many details in it. So they maybe added some of those details onto it, like maybe these uh, inlets and stuff. And the shape of uh, Cuba seems to have been, you know, made more. I mean, because in some ways, the shape of the this side of it fits with this the shape and the relation between Lejo and Hainan. But the rest of Cuba is all like, is closer to how Cuba is actually shaped. Um, that's like the Bay Area or the what I think might be the San Francisco Bay Area with like the long peninsula on the south, the small peninsula on the north, and then these kind of like, could be these two bumps right here or this bump and then this bump something like that which would represent these uh these two bumps here this would be san francisco right here and silicon valley here and then i would i am right here santa cruz um so okay better get out of here before they any other photos that are viewed are just for, you know, entertainment purposes. So, so that's interesting where there's this tradition of turning everything backwards, not just at the underworld, but even before the underworld at uh, Kamchatka in Britain. Um, you know, another thing I was noticing um, well, some of these maps have uh, the Pillars of Hercules in them, so that's pretty cool because you know, it's like modern people claim that the Pillars of Hercules are um, you know, this is Morocco, this is Spain, this is the Mediterranean, this is the Atlantic. These are the two pillars of Hercules. But they're clearly peninsulas. And they're universally described as being mountains by modern, you know, sources. So they always say that there are two promontories described by the ancients and we're not sure whether they're this one mountain or this other mountain. You know, there's different disagreements. Is it a mountain over here? Is it a mountain here? But it's so dumb because literally the word promontory doesn't mean a mountain at all. It means just a peninsula. So <laughs> it's just funny, you know, that just how illiterate modern experts are that they, even the words they're using, they don't understand. So they're trying to think that these represent mountains, but they really are just peninsulas that stick out into the water, but they're represented this way symbolically because intelligent people are able to use symbolism. That's like the mark of intelligence. Like, can you, can you use a metaphor or a symbol and understand that it's not literal and understand what it symbolizes? Modern people cannot. Um, so yeah, this one is basically seems like a merger between Indochina and Kamchatka. And then this is basically the western coast of America. And I'm not sure what part exactly is this, but... Um, but it also shows how like in these ancient maps, just like in the Egyptian ones, they often depict each section completely separately. So this is a map of this, and then there's a map of that. It's like the same as in the Book of Two Ways where they have separate sections for each thing. You know, this is Kamchatka. 
So anyway, that's the spiel. And the only other thing I was gonna, or one of the other things I was noticing is that this uh, character down here is probably Antarctica because the shape of his arm, you know, he's bigger than all the other gatekeepers and the shape of his arm is the shape of the peninsula of Antarctica that um, that abuts or you know that's close to America um, so you can see like this is Antarctica the peninsula in the 5,500 year old Hierocompolitan map and this is it in like a modern map basically. And so it has the same basic shape. It goes to the east and then to the west and then the north. <clears throat> Just like this guy's arm goes to the, goes to the, yeah, basically the east and the west and then the north. <clears throat> and I think he may be known as the, the Lord of the Wirt Poles. I think the Wirt Poles are the poles, basically, the North and South Poles. Because in the text in here, it, I think it mentions a Lord of the Wirt Poles. Or Wirt Poles, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. <clears throat> anyway, so that's some stuff. And I'll just leave it there for now. And thank you very much.